welcome to another one of my videos. Today we are visiting the Roto Wheels 70th anniversary, and this is in Chicago Rosemont, and we are going to explore the cars of George Barris. So here we are. We're at the uh, we're at the section for uh, George Barris's uh, cars, and this is the number three. Uh, Monster Coach. This is an original Monster Coach car. And as you know, the number one is in Orlando, the Desert Land Museum. Look how nice this is. You get to kind of tell with the hardware just how old this car is. Because there's a lot of remakes. And over here is the number one. And I repeat. This car is the number one Munster Dragula car. And the story behind this car. Okay, so the story of this car is this car was sold at a closeout auction in Chicago at a historical antique automobile museum in Highland Park back in 1985. Uh, the original 1966 car was housed at Planet Hollywood in Atlantic City, which you see here, this car here. And it was actually hanging on the ceiling, believe it or not. This car was hanging on top of the ceiling. So, upon closing of the Atlantic City auction, the car was auctioned to John Sibrigato, who is now the owner of this car, and he's at the show. Yeah, that's cool, isn't it? And he was, John was nice enough to let us walk around the car here and do some actual really cool video footage of the number one Dragula car just really neat to see this in person so there you have it that's what happened to the original Dragula car and again the original Munsters coach is at the Desert Land Museum in Orlando and just look at this car it's just great what a beautiful car According to John, I believe the only thing they really had to do is just uh, paint the car, but the, all the other parts are all original. Yeah, just really nice to see this car. This car is just iconic. All the Munster cars and the Barris cars are all iconic cars. And they're like everywhere. They've got toys. Just they're they're everywhere they're, they're, they're probably the most familiar car I've ever known <laughs> okay and here's John's table here he has some really cool prints and that's his information there that just popped up if you want to see more uh, information regarding the uh, Munster cars and Batmobile and of course here is the beautiful 1966 Batmobile beautiful car here it's always nice it's just great to see these cars at the world of wheels again I haven't I haven't seen these cars at, at the world of wheels in a long time but it's really cool the reunion is really awesome <clears throat> especially the uh, rat think uh, reunion which I have another video on where I interview uh, Ed Roth's son so don't forget to uh, watch that as well it's on my YouTube channel and look at this car, it's just awesome. Even the uh, little light on the top there, it's just... Now I know this is not the number one car, but don't be surprised if this isn't one of the original cars. Because they made quite a few of the uh, copy, you know, for the TV show. You know, in case one breaks down or something, they have one on standby, a spare rather. Look at that. The inside is just, just amazing. Look at that. There's nothing like the original Batmobile. So again, I'd like to thank John for letting us uh, add his cars to our YouTube video. That was great talking with him. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I have more videos like this one.